Good morning! Let's prep for the semester together. I am so excited. This is going to be my last semester ever of college. And I'm so excited. I haven't hit the like low of like, oh my gosh, it's my last semester ever. No, there is only good vibes here so far. Don't get me wrong. I think my feelings and emotions might change later on. But right now, I am in a fantastic mood. Anyways, if you're new here, my name is Lauren. I go to the University of Alabama. I am obviously a senior. And I am about to prep for my last semester ever of college. And as fate would have it, this is my most packed semester full of college courses so we're going to go ahead and start today it's going to be kind of like a vlog style I didn't know if I wanted to do like a sit down video or more of like a vlog style video comment down below what videos you prefer like vlog casual or like more sit down I'm basically just going to be taking you through like my morning afternoon ish of me planning and prepping not just for my semester but also things that I want to kind of lead into the new year of 2023 let's get going with our day So I'm about to head over to my desk. I also think we need to stop by Starby and get a coffee. But before we go to get a coffee, I really need to take my vitamins. And I want to share with you some of my favorite vitamins that I have been using this year. Thank you, Care Of, for collaborating with me on this video. Care Of is a subscription service that delivers high quality vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every month. I definitely love this convenient feature, being a full-time college student. One reason why I wasn't taking vitamins in the past was that I didn't really know what my body needed. So it was really convenient to go on their website and take their quiz. It asked me questions about like my diet, lifestyle, health goals and I was able to get like my perfect little mix. One thing I want to feel more this year is more present and one way I want to do that is by not like overbooking myself and over scheduling myself. The vitamins come in this little case which is so convenient. I have it on my desk where you are able just to take out your little patch of vitamins. It is labeled with your name and then all of your vitamins are back here. These little packs are made from plant-based film so they are compostable. Made from good for you clean ingredients and they are back from the latest science and research which really gives me a lot of trust in this company. My favorite vitamins from my pack are the ashwagandha. It helps relieve occasional stress and tension. The vitamins are definitely the things that I take every single day, but a couple other things that I love using are their gut check, on-the-go probiotics for digestion, this collagen in my coffee. I get the unflavored version. As well as for the days I work out, I love using the plant-based protein in my smoothies. Take care of quiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click the link below and use my code Lauren50 for 50% off of your first order with care of. is all clean baby l is eating her food this makes my head feel so much better now that like my area is clean we are going to head to starbucks looking like this because i don't want to get changed yet i'm not going to lie i really don't want to prep right now like i'm kind of forcing myself like i think it's going to be good for me i am very very lonely right now i did have plans this weekend but they got canceled and so i haven't had human interaction in a really long time like i literally haven't even left my house in over 72 hours like not even like to get fresh air or anything i think it's going to do me good to get out but i'm literally about to go like in my pajamas one thing i love about living in a college town is that when i go out looking like this slippers and all everyone else pretty much looks like this too i have just been a little hermit but i'm really hoping that this coffee is going to kind of like energize me literally i think this is the first time ever i have gone to a starbucks in my college town and they haven't had a line well starbucks have coffee all the day can i get a grande brown sugar shake and espresso is that all yes on the little screen thing it said just shaken espresso i'm really hoping it's brown sugar shaken espresso. Okay, so I definitely got too scared to say anything and it definitely was just the iced shaken espresso. So we're going to try it. I have like some vanilla at home. Oh my God, I'm on my period right now and like I'm on the verge of like crying. Literally over a Starbucks. Why am I like this? Why am I crying? I'm literally being so dramatic right now. I'm so sorry. 
my emotions have been like crazy. So I guess like let's do a taste test. Oh my god, I think this is made with whole milk too. Okay, so I think Why am I like this person where I won't go fix it? This is not what I ordered and I'm not gonna go fix it. Yeah, I know if I drink this like regular milk, like cow milk, I'm going to be sick. Literally, why am I being this way? Okay, I need a, I need a, I need a moment. <laughs> Okay, sometimes you just need to take a moment or a couple of days. When I tried filming this video originally, I was having such an off day. I was feeling so weird. I was on like the tail end of my period and just really wasn't in the best mindset. So this is a little reminder, being completely transparent and real here is that some days you can't do everything. Some days all you can do is just lay in the bed, watch some TV and cuddle up in a ball. I don't know if that's going to help anyone, if you have ever felt that way before. I have felt like that literally for like the first two weeks of the new year, I have felt so weird. We are working past it and we are giving ourselves rest. We are giving ourselves grace. We are loving ourselves. That day, I literally knew I couldn't film the rest of this video. My heart wasn't in it, my mind wasn't in it, and I sure as heck did not want to do that. So welcome to a couple days from when that happened. You know that TikTok sound like, you know what it never was? that serious it was never that serious okay first thing i want to do is head off to target to get the things that i need to start my new year even though i have just one semester left i still do like to get some things that i can use for school and work and just stay organized in general the number one thing also when you see that pile of clothes in the mirror that's the clothes i have to wash later on tonight i've been postponing it very severely we're not worrying about that right now we're prepping i want to find a planner i loved using the begin planner from christy lukasiak when i worked with her i don't think they have a new one that's out for this year. I also want to find some new highlighters potentially and some pins to put in my pencil case. I also need to grab pencils. <laughs> I don't think I have a pencil. I literally think I only have pens and I am taking my math class that I have been postponing since first semester of freshman year. So I need pencils obviously for my math class. Y'all this is the like this is math 110. It's the easiest entry level. If I would have made a higher score in my ACT math section I could have literally just skipped it but your girl is not telling so we're going to target fit check i have on <laughs> i have on socks and freaking slippers we have made it to target and it is so busy it is so busy because classes start tomorrow here everyone is now back for classes and i have been in like this ghost town with no one here and now everyone is here and it's just like it was a jump scare This is where the planners normally are, and there are none. Okay, so they have nothing here. Like, literally nothing. So, we're going to Office Depot. Okay, wait, I found a hidden gem. I don't really know if this is, like, the vibe I'm going for, but I did find, like, this end cap of planners. Yeah, we're still going to Office Depot. I just spilled my coffee all over my legs. Oh no. Nope, it's on it's on the jacket. This is what my seat looks like right now. <laughs> just lovely. I cannot believe this just happened. Oh my gosh, it literally just like fell out of my hands into my lap and on my butt. Um this is on my jacket slightly as you can see, which is fine because I didn't do that pile of laundry. So now I can wash my stuff. I think if I just keep this tied around my waist, I'll be fine. It did get like on the front of me a little bit and I am very sticky and uncomfortable because obviously I'm just sitting in the seat that's wet. So that's like not good for me. Um, all I smell is coffee. So I'm gonna put some lotion on my hands to try and forget what just happened to me in the car. Welcome to Office Depot. Um, my butt is still wet. For everyone who's wondering, I feel so gross. Oh my gosh, like my butt is just, it looks, it looks bad. Okay, let's go into Office Depot and hope that they have something. Okay, I wanted to get back before the sun went down. That obviously did not happen. So, baby, I'm just like lurking in the corner. Hello? Hey. 
You wanna come say hello to the camera? Say hello, friends. Say happy back to school season. Say it's your mama's very last time going to school. It's crazy. She just got done eating her dinner. I have my dinner about to go to the oven. Now we're going to clear out my book bag and get it all ready for the semester. So filling it with everything we need and taking out what we don't. Okay, so this is the book bag that I have been using for my junior and senior year, I think. I just like how bright and colorful it is. The things that are in here, a lot of this stuff is from last semester. So we're gonna go through this whole entire bag. in-depth prep with me for this semester in August obviously when I was starting my like last year but I wanted to go ahead and kind of tell you what's in my book bag I get a ton of questions all the time so I am keeping this folder from last year because nothing is wrong with it this is what I love to put little handouts any guides any like loose leaf paper I keep in here obviously my computer will be in here too but I'm not just gonna put my computer in here because we're about to go on it the planner and then the notebook that I also just got together I'm not gonna open the graph paper just yet because again I don't know if I'm gonna need to use it I don't want just like random paper in my book bag I am going to be keeping my umbrella in here as well as my blue light glasses um i also got this charger this phone charger from amazon and i've been meaning to put it in here i also love to keep this like little clip this is like the unbreakable clip from teletize so it's my favorite one to keep in here gonna be putting some disinfecting wipes you never know when you're gonna need that this is all period supply things this is my technology wipes two things that aren't mandatory but i like keeping in here is some lotion and then some perfume as well just that little mini size this is for my breath i like to keep some gum and also these like little listerine mints a hairbrush and a hair tie these are my band-aids a lot of the time i'll go to campus and then i'll get a blister so that's perfect to have some hand sanitizer and then some advil i'll link my book bag patches all that stuff down below for you we just need to clean up like the little area right here because it's gotten messy Okay, there is so much going on on my desk. So we're going to clean the workspace because literally this is just so much chaos. So let's clean this off. this look obviously so much better than what it did i'm going to new york this weekend and so this stuff back here is just stuff that i'm potentially packing these clothes and everything back there will be put away shortly the next thing on my list is to kind of concoct a list of all of my classes that i'm taking and also trying to look at the syllabi and see what i need if there's anything that i need to go ahead and order whenever i do plan out my semester i do like to keep a little notebook next to me kind of keeping me on track i'm taking a big mixture of online and in-person classes this semester that's what I felt worked best for me in my schedule. There are times that I have to be traveling for different work trips and launches and branding and all that stuff. So it just worked better for me to have more online classes. So I only have two in-person classes and the other five classes that I'm taking are online. And I did split it up. Half of it is at a community college and then half of it is at the actual University of Alabama. Let's go ahead and open up our computer and start making a list of all of our classes. So my math course isn't showing. It's saying, what does it say? Okay, so on my other two classes, this is for my community college that I'm taking in Tuscaloosa, which it's so much cheaper. 
and we're not gonna get into that. The other ones, my history and art appreciation. Though it says term spring 2023, but with my math course, it says spring 2023 second split. What does that mean? This is freaking me out because I'm like, um, it still says spring 2023, but it's like, it's under future enrollments. I should have known Alabama wasn't going to let me in to see my courses because classes obviously haven't even started yet. None of them have uploaded their syllabus or anything for me to look at yet. So can't really do a lot of prep in there. Okay, now I'm going to be putting it into my Google Calendar of all my classes. I normally like, My pizza is done. I like to put my classes in virtually because I can pull it up on my phone. I can know exactly where I need to be, when and where. And I can just like delete everything once I know my schedule. I normally know my schedule, obviously a month in, so I don't really need it after that. done everything is perfectly in here i normally at this time will put in my school assignments and i will kind of plan them out and make sure i have due dates and everything but since this is literally the first time ever my professors haven't put a syllabus up before classes start like classes literally start tomorrow and it literally is 6 p.m the night before classes start and there's no syllabus so there really isn't anything else for me to prep or plan without having other information. A couple weeks ago, I went ahead and tried planning out some of my college content that I did want to go live this year, like since it's my last semester. Go ahead and comment down below what kind of videos you want to see for my last semester ever of college. I know it's kind of sad that like, it's not gonna be college content, but I hope that y'all will stick around for the content that is not fully college. I don't really know what my content's gonna be yet, to be determined but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you've made it to this part of the video go ahead and comment down the pencil emoji if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to join the family you can click that subscribe button also i love you guys so much and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye